The other day I was working in the office and I was trying to learn to use uh, Adobe Photoshop and it got to the point in the day where I just had to get up and do something. Uh, one of my greatest weaknesses or greatest strengths depending on how you look at it is I can only sit down at a desk for two to three hours tops at a time and then I, I just need to go do something and I, I really don't know how people do it uh, where they have to sit down at a desk all day. It's, it's very difficult for me. So even though it's been ridiculously cold the last couple weeks, I figured I'd uh, go to the garage and just uh, run some beads with the welder and that would keep me warm and, and you know get me some practice. And this is the first time I ever tried to actually record myself welding beads and I never realized how far the sparks flew. You know, usually you've got that dark helmet on and, and you're so focused on the puddle. Uh, but the thing I'm learning here is I might just wear, I have some leather, you know, leather chaps. I might actually just wear them. Uh, or leather sleeves. I might wear them the next time I weld because, boy, that's, that's a lot of sparks. And the other thing you'll notice is I have that fan going in the window. And uh, one of the welding books I read, you know, they said, you know, first off, you really don't want to be breathing in the smoke from welding. But they recommend using that box fan. Now, I use it to suck the smoke out the window. But even if you're welding on something that's uh, in the garage or outdoors, you know, you can use that box fan to just blow all that smoke away so you don't breathe it in. Now, I'm also wearing a respirator in this picture. You can't tell. And I, I do have safety glasses on underneath the helmet as well. Um, so here we are, I, I took one of my older welding lenses, the, the helmet I have is auto darkening and this is me using um, one of the, I just took a piece of tape and, and taped it to the helmet or to the camera to record you know, what it looked like when I welded. And I, I guess the detail is not so great in the puddle but you know, as far as I can tell it's, it's looking okay. I, you know, my beads were coming along okay, and I think I'm using 6013 here. Uh, it's, it's angle I'm welding on, and it's about an inch of, eighth of an inch thick. And I did try it with some 6010, and I ended up blowing through it. Uh, within about an inch, the metal heats up a little bit. As you, as you weld, the metal heats up. So the farther along, the metal gets hotter, and I ended up blowing through it. And I did a few, um, a few beads with some 7018 as well which is a really nice uh, rod to use as long as your metal's nice and clean. But um, this, is, this is what it looks like when I, when I weld a bead. One way you can tell, uh, you know, if a guy's doing welding and you want to see if he's a, a good welder or not, or how good his beads are, uh, is when they go to clean that slag off, especially if you're using like a 6013 or a 7018. Um, I remember my teacher in welding class would actually take the end of the, the welding rod, you put in the stinger, and he would just like slide that along the, the slag there, and it would just come right off. You know, the easier the slag comes off, the better the weld. Now, if you're using like a 6010 rod or a 6011, obviously it's going to be very difficult to do because that slag is just so, so sticky. And then in this one, I, the sound is different in the, the clip. And I'm thinking that maybe I ended up um, raising the amperage in the welder a little bit to see if I could. I was trying to, to lap over my beads a little bit so the metal was a little bit thicker. So maybe I raised the, uh, the amps to get a little bit more heat going there. And there we are, you know, just trying to, you know, get that slag off as gently as possible, you know, because that's. That's one of the tests I use when I'm welding with the 6013 or 7018 is the easier the slag comes off, the better, the better I feel about the bead. And this is just a shot of some welds I did probably four or five years ago. I built a um, holder for my toolboxes on my, my white dump truck and I built the, the brackets myself. So those are, those are some of the welds I did back then. Well, thanks for watching folks and have a wonderful day.